This was an exam question in 2014-15. There was a multiple choice question, question two. So here we're given a continuous time signal and we're told that it's sampled and we're asked for the energy of the resulting discrete time signal. So there are two stages to this question. The first quest stage is the sampling stage, going from continuous time to discrete time. That's stage one. And then the second step is to calculate the energy, EX. So first we find the discrete time signal, then we find the energy. So to write an expression for x of n, we need to replace t with n times the sampling time, uppercase t. And we get uppercase t from the sampling rate. So 1 hertz, that's the sampling rate. From that, we can find t. It's the reciprocal of the sampling rate, so it's 1 over 1, that's 1 second. And we're replacing t with nt. So we replace t with n times 1, which is n. So each of these t's, there's a t up here and a t there, we replace that with n. So our expression now becomes 0 0.3 to the power n plus 1 u of n. So this is my discrete time signal. So that's the first stage in answering the question. The next stage is to find the energy. So the energy of a discrete time signal is a summation from minus infinity to infinity of x squared. So that's simply the summation from n equals 0 to infinity. Why 0? Because we have a unit step. And the unit step is 0 for negative values of n. And instead of x squared, I'm going to write 0 0.3 to the power n plus 1 squared. And instead of the unit step, we can just write 1, or not write anything. OK, now what I can do is I can exchange the order of these exponents so my expression looks something like this. n equals 0 to infinity of 0 0.3 squared to the power n plus 1. Now that looks more familiar to us as a, a Taylor series. And to make it even more familiar, let's get rid of this plus 1. So we can now write it as summation n equals 0 to infinity of 0 0.3 squared times 0 0.3 squared to the power n. So that's where the plus 1 comes from. That's n. So it's, it's as if this is to the power 1, that's to the power n, and 1 plus n is n plus 1. So, last step, we can say that 0 0.3 squared times the summation from n equals 0 to infinity of 0 0.3 squared to the power n. Now that there, that is our Taylor series, which we can represent as 
1 over 1 minus 0 0.3 squared. Okay, and just to remind you, that's because the summation of x to the power n, n is 0 to infinity, equals 1 over 1 minus x. So that's the Taylor series you're expected to know. So the final answer here, ex equals 0 0.3 squared times 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.3 squared. And if you put that in the calculator, you get 0 0.098. Nine, which is approximately 0 0.1. So that's the energy we're after in this question. So it's a multiple choice question. That's your final answer.